here we are with our old truck and our old trailer <laughs> and uh, we're out here getting hay for the horses and we are going to be bartering for a good portion of this hay. So stay tuned and we're going to be talking about this coming up next. I'm Heidi Viegas. Here's my husband, Joe, Mr. V with Healing Harvest Homestead. Hi, YouTube friends. I'm Heidi Viegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. And I wasn't planning on doing this video. I'm just going to kind of talk off the top of my head. But what I want to talk about uh, with you today is the importance of two things. Number one is surviving in this modern economy the way it is right now. How do you survive what is going on with everything, the supply chain, our food costs, uh, general inflation, gas prices? How do you survive that? And I, I have some little thoughts on this. Um, and the other thing is, is being medically prepared, being uh, ready to go with your medical preps, with your food preps, with your water preps, with you know all the things that you think you might need. You really need to start thinking about these things right now uh, because we're on the verge of it being too late. You, you really, people really, really need to start digging in right now and giving all this some thought and have a plan. So what am I doing here today? This is what spurred me to go, you know, I should do a video on this. <laughs> what I'm doing here today is I am straining off herbal medicine tinctures and I am doing it right now, even though this is not the best time of day for me to be doing this because I'm working with very sedative herbs uh, right now and I'm actually getting a little tired. I usually will work with my sedative herbs at night because the uh, molecules from the herbal preparations actually get into your bloodstream through your hands and I'm not wearing gloves. I should probably just wear gloves, but I'm also inhaling it and it, it does have an effect on you. I'm working with valerian and hops and lavender and chamomile right now, if you must know, but very, very wonderful, wonderful plants for relaxation. The reason I'm doing it right now, first thing in the morning, is because my husband is getting ready to go pick up a third load of hay um, for our horses, and he's, uh, we're bartering, we're trading items and products for the hay in, in part. We're paying for part of it, and we're bartering for the other cost. Because guess what? Um, the fellow, the farmer who we're bartering with has needs and we have skills. I have herbal medicine skills. And so we're able to fit uh, like a little puzzle piece there. It's a need, we're fitting in a need. So when I think about my herbal medicine making skills, and most of you guys know that uh, we have not been on any over-the-counter or prescription medication in over 10 years at this point, and that's because I make everything myself. The only things I have to buy are things like bandages, which by the way, you can actually make yourself too, uh, iodine, betadine, things like that. That's not the point of all this. What I really want to talk with you about is the skill set, okay? Not only does knowing herbal medicine allow me to create and make all the things we need and, and on some of our neighbors need and other community members, and it allows me to teach. So I teach herbalism and I, I taught herbalism to now hundreds and hundreds of students who are now successfully going out there and sharing their knowledge with others too and their, their products and their skills. And so it's a way to spread this ripple, okay? Everybody needs to have some kind of a skill right now that you can barter for. Like, what do you bring to the table in this modern economy? What do you have that you can trade in exchange for something that you need? And that's that's the whole point of this video. I'm standing here in my kitchen this morning feeling rather woozy and tired because I am working. This is my compost bowl. For, I'll be taking this out in a moment because I'm working with herbs and uh, that are relaxing. <laughs> and I just thought, man, how blessed are we that we have skills so that we can barter with community members and make some really positive exchanges with each other. It is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful blessing. Um, the other thing we're trading besides herbal medicines, I'm here, I'm straining off tinctures and acetums and I've got some chamomile. I just garbled off this stem. But the other thing that we exchange is soap and body care products, skincare products, massage oils, 
These are all things that affect uh, people's health and wellness in a very powerful way. And so if, if there's something that like my hairdresser needs, I might get a free haircut out of out of the exchange or something like that. It's it's a matter of finding the people in your community that you can exchange with and, and share with and uh, help and they can help you. That's what bartering is. And I have a feeling that the way the economy is going right now, uh, the way that, that the country is going right now, we are going to be in situations where we need to know how to barter. Even if it's like babysitting skills, you know, can you babysit another person's children for free uh, in exchange for something they can give you? Maybe food or, or something like that. So there's always ways to think outside the box when it comes to this. Being preparedness minded, and, and you know that word prepper, <laughs> I'm not really fond of it, but, but truly that's kind of what it is. When you have that kind of a mindset, you're always thinking about, all right, how do you survive the current crisis? And, and we're always in some kind of a crisis, usually. And if we're not, one's coming down the road. That's just the way life works, right? We we have a, an easy time of it for a little while, and then something happens that is out of our control, and we are left reeling uh, and wondering, what are we going to do here? What's, what's going to happen? You guys, having a plan in place is really the best thing you can do. I have, um, a, actually I wrote this guide uh, about five years ago. It's seven steps to being prepared. Some of them are the things we most commonly think of like food and water and things like that. And others of them are not, they're a little outside the box. So I am going to um, spiff that up, get that ready and I'll put the link in the description below. I also have some other free gifts for you in the description below, you'll find the links. So just click where it says show more or read more and and those links will be there for you but as I wrap this up um, you know and as we go to pick up a third load of hay luckily we don't have a lot of livestock we have two horses and they give us a lot of compost and we pasture them so we you know we have to buy a certain amount of hay for the year and we gather that hay in July get our, our hay every single summer for the entire year. And we do a lot of bartering <laughs> around this time. And, and I'm actively searching out ways that I can continue to barter even into the winter months now, the spring months, um, things like that. But you need to be med medically prepared, you guys. You, you need to know how to use the plants that God gave us. Uh, he, gave a, he gave us these gifts. He gave us these gifts in your backyard that you can use for, for food and also your medicine. You can grow your own medicine. It's possible, I do it. I have a headache, I know what to go reach for. I have a, an ache or a pain and I know what to go reach for. So I, I, could, I could talk about this forever. I get very excited about it as you can see. You know, guys, I was just bottling up the, the tincture that I just strained off. This is a sleep tincture to help with relaxation and even pain relief and getting to sleep and rest. It's very safe. I wanted to just give you an idea of the cost, a little quick little cost analysis on this. So I spent approximately 40 to $50 on uh, product cost to make these, okay? I These are the alcohol tinctures. I yielded two full quarts, so I yielded a half of a, a gallon when by tincturing a full gallon, this is two half gallon containers. This is, this is a vinegar mixture because they like vinegar too. One, one man likes vinegar, one man likes alcohol. Um, so I created two half gallon tinctures and I yielded very, very strong, beautiful, uh, half, one full half gallon of the tincture. Now, I just told you what my cost was on just these. It was under, uh, right around $40 or so, maybe 50 in between the alcohol and I had to purchase uh, one of the herbs that I use in this. And the other herbs were are very inexpensive. If you did have to buy them on the market, if you commercially look at what tinctures cost right now, oh, my compost is in a bag. Um, if you if you commercially look at what tinctures cost right now, it's about fifteen dollars an ounce. 
that that's an average. So if you go to a place like Etsy, you might find an ounce of tincture for a little bit less. If you go to a store like Whole Foods, an ounce of tincture might cost you $25. So it's all kind of relative. So think about this for a moment. At $15 an ounce, the cost to purchase these two bottles of very strong, helpful, safe, effective sleep tincture would be $960. Can you believe that? Like we, we just make this stuff and we don't really think about the cost on the market, but the cost on the market's very high. So when we're trading for a commodity like hay for our horses and we have something valuable that we can trade in exchange, it really helps. So I just wanted to just quickly throw this cost analysis in here for you. And I could do this with all the things I create and make, but start thinking about that, you guys. It's, it's really um, a wonderful thing to know how to do. <laughs> all right, if you wanna learn herbalism from me, from a Christian herbalist, from a Christ-centered perspective, I would love to have you join me in some courses. Uh, and I'll leave the link to my school below too.